This is an ABC 10 News update. And good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson in the ABC 10 News studio. The Poway Unified School District is now holding all meetings virtually after members say they received death threats. The board unanimously voted on this decision during a special five minute board meeting Monday. This comes after members say protesters showed up at their own homes with manifestos and death threats. The board says the move is in the interest of their safety and their well being. There is no clear answer as to how long those meetings will stay virtual. Rising hospitalizations in neighboring counties are leading to concerns for San Diego, Riverside, San Bernardino and Fresno counties. They're all seeing hospitalizations rise by more than 20% in recent weeks. All those areas have lower vaccination rates. However, this trend is sparking concerns about a winter surge here. The county has seen a slight uptick in COVID hospitalizations just this last month. With pandemic restrictions loosening in some areas, though, local animal shelters are in need of more foster families. The San Diego Humane Society says that last year, hundreds of San Diegans opened up their homes to foster pets. But now that things are starting to open up a little bit more, foster volunteers are leaving for the holidays, so shelters need your help. For more information on how to become a foster family, go to our website, 10news.com. All right, going to get a little warmer here the next couple of days with Santa Ana winds. Here's our meteorologist, Angelica Campos. Steve, Veterans Day will feel almost like summer with temperatures reaching mid 80s near the coast and low 90s in our inland communities. The mountains are slowly making their way up to near 70 degrees, but we do have St. Anna winds expected for Thursday afternoon into early Friday. We'll have the rest of your forecast coming up. 